Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I would like to talk you to talk to talk uh, about um, Fusion 360 uh, plugins. Um, I don't know if you had a chance to check them out, but uh, you just click, click on this icon here and um, dialog box is gonna pop up. There are some uh, interesting uh, plugins here. Uh, the only thing you have you gotta do is just you know choose which one you want and click run and um, yeah and basically that's it but but uh, the other thing i want to talk to you about is if you click on the arrow here you get this fusion 360 app store uh, when you choose it um, it's going to take you over here to the uh, app store main page it just show all and you're going to see all of them here and uh, you can browse them and you see if you find something uh, which could be practical for you and if you like one of them and you're gonna use it, just don't forget to leave a comment um, to the creators. It would be really nice. And uh, it's actually very simple. All you gotta do, for example, let's go with this one, choose it. Uh, you need to sign in first. And uh, I don't know if this one works or this one, just click on the download and it's gonna download. You install it and that's it. And don't forget, if you have a Fusion 360 open at the same time, uh, close it and open it again and uh yeah and they're gonna show up here um oh here actually you can see it for example your custom uh, screw um if it's not run then you just click on the run command and it tells you that you're gonna find it on the modeling space under create so we go up here create and create a screw and it's actually really really, really a nice one and um let's see for example just open up the advance you want to change the head diameter you can just i don't know choose 10 for example see how it looks like and uh the hexagon diameter you can also change here i don't know five for example you see um you get a really nice live view but uh, as you can see here it's not modeled screw um thread so all you gotta do when you create, a, click on the OK, when you're satisfied with the screw that you yeah, wanna create, just right click on this one or double click and edit feature and choose modeled and that's it. And here we go. You see, few seconds and you already have a screw so you don't have to build it, everything from the beginning. And they also created here a joint. Uh, I don't know why, but um, so be it. So everything here is, you know, see, it's, it's ready. So you don't have to play with it so much. And uh, yeah, the next one, it's gonna be the, um, what it's gonna be. Um, I've tried actually to install this uh, helical gear. I don't know what happened, but it doesn't really work. It's crashing my Fusion 360. Maybe there is a problem with the script or not. I uh, suggest you try it. And if it doesn't work uh, on your machine, so uh, just leave them a comment and hopefully um, uh, they're gonna, he's gonna fix it. <clears throat> and uh, the other one I wanted to show you, it's the, where it is? A custom screw, blah, blah, blah. It's a shaft. It's a really nice one. You see it's pop up here. Uh, let's delete this one and uh, just click on it and here you can just uh, yeah first of all you choose which axis you want to create the, um, the shaft on well choose one of them and now you can create the different uh, <coughs> sections this section this section and let's try uh, another section <coughs> and from here you can just you have many kind of options just play with it um on the page here on the chef page you have a link here and it can take you to a youtube uh, channel where a uh, youtube video where you can see how we play with it how we create it how to use it you can see here give you some examples but uh, obviously the best way is to um you know just just test it yourself for example you can choose here and choose for example threads and uh, when you click on it and then you can say okay what kind of thread do you want and the size and um, 
Let's see what else we've got here. Here, kind of dimension, the chamfer dimension, thread length, and so on. Uh, ah, okay, show you also here that this is the Z and the LT and so on. It's pretty, really nice. Uh, if you're happy with it, here you can see the dimension of the cylinder. 50. Okay, and then you can just create. If you want to remove it, just click on here and remove something. Uh, there's a lot of information here on the different uh, cones and so on. And you just click on the uh, run. And voila! Look at that, it's really nice. And by the way, in this um, script, uh, they decided to use uh, direct modeling. So that's why the timeline is going to disappear. So don't worry about it. All you got to do is just right click and caption design history. And you can also see it here. Okay. Um, let's see, uh, you can see it's like a base yeah, feature. And uh, so you cannot do much about it. Um, so no, it's actually not so much as a uh, direct modeling, but uh, um, yeah, I don't know why it does that. But anyway, this is the uh, how it looks like. Uh, it's yeah, you see, it is a base feature. You cannot go back. You don't have history. So um, yeah, but anyway, uh, I, sh I suggest you to give it a try. It's really nice. It can save you a lot of time if you need to create something like that or different, so you don't have to build it you know manually and it's really actually really nice i'm considering actually to use it one of my projects i just need to play with it a little bit more and um yeah as you can see it's not so complicated it's pretty simple and um yeah and as you can see there are many many kinds of uh, script here you go back um you've got for example uh, yeah this is the helical gear that i talked about and here's the shaft. Um, you have this one, the fracture. This is really cool. It costs uh, $2, it's nothing. And you have this brick builder. There's a lot of really nice uh, script here. You should give them, a, you should check them out. Also the Voronio sketch generator. I know some few users who actually used it. Um, if you need it, give it a try. And the aerofoil also. I know a few people who used it also, and there is another one hand here. A really nice stuff here, and also this bevel uh, gear design. It's really nice. So uh, yeah, give them a try. And uh, there, there aren't so many as you can see here right now. Uh, there are a bunch, but not so many scripts. But check, uh, you know, check the website uh, from time to time. And they're adding new script all the time, of course. And uh, yeah, who knows? You're probably going to find something. Uh, and if you're able to create a script, that would be great. Just put it here or send it to Fusion and share it with everyone. And don't forget to leave a comment to the guys if you're using it, uh, one of the scripts. That uh, will be great. I'm sure they will be happy. So um, <clears throat> that's it for now. I just wanted to talk to you about the add-ins. I'm pretty, I don't know, I have a feeling that not so many people actually notice that, especially in the beginning when you're using Fusion 360, when you're just getting to know Fusion. So, um, so now you know it exists, you click on it. You can see here all the scripts, just test them, you know, run them. Doesn't matter if you choose this one or this one, just run and you're gonna find it somewhere here. And um, if it's not only here, here's the mostly the built-in. This is the new ones that you're actually adding. That's why it says also my add-ins. And you can find them here. And if it's already marked that it's running from startup and you don't want it, just remove mark, mark it and just run on startup. Just remove the check and, uh, and that's it. Here you get some extra details where it is, the description and so on. And the spore gear, actually, it's a really nice one. Uh, I was lucky. Uh, I was <coughs> I had a chance to to test it, this script, and to help them to develop it. Uh, it's it's really really great one. I'm using it, and uh, yeah, if you need a gear, so uh, I can recommend you about any way to check that out. 
And uh, yes, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you have any questions, don't forget to add in the comments. I'm gonna add, uh, I'm gonna put down the direct uh, link to the uh, Fusion uh, plugin page. And um, yeah, don't forget to check the uh, thumbs up. And if you have any question, please ask me. And if you have any um, ideas to, I don't know, something that you wanna know how to create and you want me to create a tutorial, a video, so just let me know and I'm gonna check it out. So uh, see you in the next video. Ciao.